This demonstration will explain how vendors are set up as part of the Accounts Payable functionality in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. Vendors need to be created in order to create purchase orders and make payments to suppliers in Microsoft Dynamics AX. Within the Setup folder in the Accounts Payable module are the two forms we'll need to populate prior to the creation of vendor records. We'll want to create vendor groups and at least a single posting profile and allow you to apply that profile to a group of vendors. Posting profiles define which ledger accounts are used for certain accounts payable related transactions. Posting profiles also determine which accounts to post to for receipts against purchase orders. We also want to check that all necessary master data has already been created. Finally, we want to review the optional master data that can be set up and used during vendor creation. Let's review what steps should be done prior to creating vendors. The following should be set up. Terms of payment, methods of payment, form setup, vendor groups, posting profiles, AP parameters. Once you have confirmed that the terms and method of payment have been defined and accounts payable parameters have been set, we can then have a look at the accounts payable setup that touches vendors. Let's look at the optional setup next. All of these topics are optional setup features within Microsoft Dynamics AX and can potentially be tied to a vendor record. Review these topics and later we will see that all of these fields are available within a single vendor record. Before we review the fields found within the vendor record, we will need to create vendor groups. On the Overview tab, first create a distinctive group code and a corresponding description. Then select the terms of payments that will be applied for this vendor group. Next, select the settlement period that will be applied to this vendor group. The General tab displays the same information found on the Overview, so there is nothing to complete here. Clicking the Forecast button will allow you to enter the purchase forecasting. Clicking the Setup button will launch you into the Inventory Posting form. Use this inventory posting form to identify how inventory transactions post to general ledger accounts. These postings are for specific combinations of items and vendors. Use the radio buttons to establish general ledger postings for the various actions identified per radio button topic. Please refer to the demonstration that reviews all of the accounting postings in more detail. Creation of Posting Profiles On the Overview tab, establish a unique code and description for each posting profile you create. On the Table Restrictions tab, there are three fields that can be filled out. The Settlement checkbox acts like the following. If checked, debits and credits will automatically be applied. If left unchecked, then settlements are done manually through open transaction editing. The Cancel checkbox acts to define whether you can cancel transactions created within this post posting profile. The Administration Close field is normally left blank. In the event that a different account is used for year-end close, select the corresponding profile here. On the Setup tab, there are six fields that can be populated on the Setup tab for the posting profile. The account code determines whether this profile will apply to a single vendor, group of vendors, or all vendors. In the event the profile is applicable to a group or single vendor, use the account code field to identify which one. The summary account is the account most commonly used as your Trade Payables General Ledger account. In the Settle Account field, enter the Liquidity Ledger account used for cash flow forecasting. If this field is left blank, then the Settle account specified in Accounts Payable parameters will be used. The Arrival and Offset account fields are used in reference with the Invoice Register. 
This means that values will be posted here until approval is granted. The arrival and offset accounts are only required if utilizing the Accounts Payable Approval System for invoices. Invoices entered will post to these accounts, and when the invoice is approved, this transaction is reversed and the Accounts Payable Summary account and Expense account will be affected. This will complete the posting profile requirements. Please move on to the next demonstration, Vendor Setup Part 2. That demonstration will detail all of the fields available for a vendor record.